with Pakistan's forex reserves hitting an eight-year low. Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif is looking at his friends for some respite. He was all set to fly for his West Asian partner, the UAE, today, but due to uh, reasons not stated, the visit has now been delayed for the 12th of January. Sharif is looking for an emergency cash deposit from Abu Dhabi. Sources say he will be tagged along with Foreign Minister Bilawal Bhutto Zadari and other diplomats. The talks are going to focus solely on Pakistan needing funds. The situation is dire at the moment. The reserve held by the state bank has been reduced to just $4.5 billion. This is enough to sustain only for about four weeks. Even after taking steps to revive the economy, the slump continues. Pakistan has just repaid loans worth $1.2 billion to Dubai-based commercial banks, but this has left the country's import cover for only under a month. Speaking of West Asian helpers, Saudi Arabia and the UAE have been uh, the only two nations who have come to Pakistan's rescue. The country's military chief, General Asim Munir, is in fact concluding his week-long visit today. Many are seeing this as a possible reason for delaying Sharif's visit, as it might not look good with the Prime Minister and the military chief in one country seeking an urgent bailout. For more on this, we are now joined by our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik from Islamabad. Anas, there is no doubt that this is an absolutely desperate situation for Pakistan. The Prime Minister as well as the Army Chief seem to be lobbying hard uh, to get aid, especially from Gulf nations. Have they had any success so far? Because some of these nations like Saudi Arabia have already offered a lot of financial assistance to Pakistan in the very recent past. There seems to be some headway, Neha, and uh, what we've seen last night, the statement coming in uh, from the Saudi Crown Prince's office, uh, the office of Mohammed bin Salman, that was reported by the Saudi press agency that said that the Crown Prince has directed uh, the concerned authorities to explore opportunities to double their investments in Pakistan and also to, to raise the bar of the, uh, uh, of the deposits that are there in Pakistan State Bank uh, the, with regards to the foreign reserves. So there seems to be some headway over there and uh, Pakistan Prime Minister uh, Shahbaz Sharif's visit to the UAE, which has now just been announced by the Pakistani Ministry of Foreign Affairs officially as well, where, in which they have stated that the Prime Minister will undertake a visit to the United Arab Emirates on the uh, 12th and 13th of January and that this will be the third visit of the Prime Minister the official visit rather since taking charge he will be accompanied by members of the cabinet as well uh, what we understand that the pakistani foreign minister bilawal bhutto zardari and the finance minister isaktar will also be accompanying the prime minister uh, as he makes that journey to the united arab uh, united arab emirates where he will be meeting the Emirati leadership as well and the key focus of those uh, talks would be economic cooperation because we've previously seen Saudi and Emirati bailouts uh, bailing out the country in desperate times and uh, amidst desperate measures and the situation currently that the country is going through is certainly quite desperate as well economically that is with the reserves depleting to about 4.5 billion that's roughly about uh, enough to hold the country for about three weeks so in that light this visit will be deemed very, very important, Neha. A very important visit indeed with forex reserves, just enough to last less than a month. Thanks very much, Anas, for getting us all those details from Pakistan.